So I've been wanting to do this for so long. Um, Alex and I just got stuff for our balcony finally, and so I'm gonna take you guys along. Picked up this tiling from uh, Ikea, and it goes in these black plastic things, and it's really easy to put together. It all just snaps together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then we also have table and chairs to put together. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. So these are the tables and chairs we ordered from Ikea. I'll be putting them together. It's a medium-sized table and two medium-sized chairs that are a part of a set together. I will be linking them down below in the description box if you're interested in the exact style that we had ordered from there. This is our before the balcony makeover just to give you guys a glimpse of what it currently looks like. This is what it looks like so far. I am in the middle of laying down the tiles. We'll be putting the turf in front of the door so we have something a little softer to walk out on. So I should have read the instructions before laying down a bunch of these tiles because I realized after that I had the black plastic thing um, that the tiles are supposed to lock into upside down. So they were actually sliding all over the place. So Alex currently isn't here. We're at his sister's house. Um, we are dog sitting for them. And so he is spending the night over there. And so I won't have help with the balcony until tomorrow actually, which is perfectly fine. But this weekend is super exciting. So the family that I nanny for, um, we're doing a little road trip from Mon or from Sunday until Tuesday morning. We're going to Round Top in Texas. It is one of the world's largest antique shows, um, but they literally have like everything and anything you're looking for. It's literally me, the mom, the baby, and the grandma going, which is so cute. We're going on like a little girls weekend getaway. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I've never seen anything like it. It's very, very overwhelming. We didn't film much today. We're leaving. We only had one day here, um, but we plan on coming back later in fall. So if you're interested, I can do more of a video about Round Top then. I just kind of took the time off of my phone and really wanted to enjoy the moment with the um, family that I'm with and just soak it all in. And there's just so much to see. Also, I wanted to update you on um, my pa outdoor patio. I actually decided I didn't like the tiling out there without any color, and so Ikea also sells the same tiles in blue and white, and blue is um, the color trend of our apartment right now. Um, so I was like, those will definitely match better and just make it look cuter out there. So I actually went ahead and returned the tiles back at ikea um because it said that the other tiles were in stock and then i got there i had already returned them and they weren't in stock so i actually have to go back to ikea go on a wait list and wait for them so um i actually went ahead and built all the chairs and the table for our outdoor patio so they're just sitting inside our house which is taking up a lot of room but i can't wait to update you guys on our patio So as you can see, we added some turf down and the blue and white tiles that I was talking to you guys about. So we are finally complete. It looks so cute out here. It's gonna be so pretty during a summer evening. 
to sit out here or even now during spring and just have some coffee or some dinner. Just hang out out here. So that's that. Then we'll just move the tables and chairs back out here and I'll give you guys a complete look of the final balcony. I wanted to take you guys along on the first patio activity. I'm going to be planting two olive trees into the vintage pot that I got in Round Top. These olive trees will become um, indoor plants right next to our TV stand. Um, I was so happy when I found these olive trees um, off Facebook Marketplace um, because olive trees tend to be pretty expensive. So I am going to take you guys along and let's get started. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just take that soil and add it to this one. And um, I'm actually going to just take it out of this pot. So the person who gave it to me put it in like this like green pot. So I'm going to take it out and I am just literally going to put this soil into that pot um, and then just like work my way around it with the whatever soil that I have left um, for trees and shrubs. That is the soil that I got from Home Depot. Um, they said it was the best one for olive trees and that is what most people use. So I just picked up some of that and um, I'm going to plant the other one as well into it. And they're kind of leaning over so I got um, the plastic sticks to like tie together and hold them up. Okay, so this root actually is way bigger than I expected. Um, it's literally attached to like something down there. It is so big. Um, but then this is the other one and it's pretty small. But I am going to keep them both in there um, just because it makes them look a little bit fuller and it will really fill out that corner that it's going to be in. Um, so I hope that they don't eat each other alive and literally soak up, like one soaks up all the water and the other one doesn't. But, so I'm gonna just fill the rest out with soil and some pyrolite and that will help them get oxygen and just kind of be able to breathe a little. There actually already is some from the last person who had them in there. Um, so I'm just gonna get those roots covered and then I also, um, pre-made some water that has like plant food in it so I'm gonna also give them a little bit of that but they're so pretty So the last step that I will be doing before moving the olive tree inside, um, I am going to be topping off the top layer of soil with a little bit of perlite, whatever I have left in the bag, and I'm going to mix it into the, just the top layer of the soil and make sure it's mixed well. This is where our olive tree will be staying in our apartment. I think it adds some nice greenery in the house and really fills out the corner next to the TV. Um, this is definitely my new favorite pot in the house. I just love the rustic vibe that it gives off. The pumpus grass over in the corner, um, I'm actually thinking of getting rid of it. I'm not fully sure yet, but my friend Gracie and I actually cut it off of the side of the freeway, so it's kind of funny. Every time I look at it, it just has a good memory behind it, and it just reminds me of that time. So this is my favorite room out of our whole apartment. Just I love the decor in our living room and just everything about it. Um, this is just a little sneak peek because I do want to do an apartment tour uh, video going over the details of every um, decor item in our apartment. But I 
in honor of the beautiful olive tree that just got put in. Um, I thought I would just give you a sneak peek of the living room. So if you see any items in um, my living room that you're wondering where it's from, um, I will do my best to get an apartment tour up as soon as possible. Um, but for now, this is just a little sneak peek of what is to come. To close out my um, patio makeover, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like out here at night when the lights are all on. Um, behind the door, this is where I keep my potting stuff and it's just hidden and out of sight so it's not in the way of anyone or anything. Um, and I'm just so happy with the way that it came out. It just looks so gorgeous out here and I'm really happy I went with the blue and white tiling out there. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Relax.